when people imagine a farm, you know, they imagine a kind of bucolic landscape idyllic place, which I love. You know, I grew up in a place sort of like that. I think there's a tension between that vision of a happy farm that's made by your neighbor and feeding 10 million people in a city. My name is Caleb Harper, and I'm a research scientist at the MIT Media Lab. My family is in the grocery business um, and in agriculture, so I was raised around raising animals and plants and selling food. But as any young kind of young person, I didn't want to do what my family does. So I went off and became an architect um, and an engineer, and professionally I designed data centers. So I became this weird specialist in control environments. Now I'm kind of taking that and applying it to something that I love, which is plants. So behind me right now is one of our scales of technology platforms called the food server. Well, inside of this box, we're creating climate. Then we're monitoring that climate with sensors. Right? Those sensors are creating data, like CO2 data, how much is in there, humidity data, temperature data, about 30 data points per plant. And we encapsulate that and we make the plant recipe. What we're really doing is making a correlation between the environment and what we got. And we put that on Wikipedia and someone else can then pull that file down, load it into their food computer, and within a tolerance, grow a very similar basil. Essentially, you could be growing the same basil in Boston, in Antarctica, and in the Sahara Desert. Inside of the lab, there's kind of a chassis, right? And this is just a point of registration. And then we have sub-components. It's just like a computer. So like, instead of a hard drive, we have a little box. And that box may use aeroponics, which is very simply just mist in a box. There's no standing water, there's no soil. We've been able to create this broccoli in about, I think it's about eight weeks on this cycle where, you know, typically it could be up to 160, 190 days. You know, some people look at this and they see kind of franken plants, right? And, and it just reveals how much we don't know. If, it, if the world was plant world, there would be no other colors than these colors that they use to be photosynthetically active. But in here, what I'm trying to do is learn the language of the plant. As strange as it may look, it's, it's beautiful and natural to me. We realized over the summer that by creating these big boxes, they were awesome, but they cost too much and they were gonna reach too few people. So instead of creating a $100,000 box, we wanted $100,000 boxes. And so that's what we started working on. And, and we've delivered them to schools all over Boston. Your Google, your Facebook, your internet is going to be digital and physical. And so I would call this the beginning of the internet of food. And it's your, it's squarely in your hands. And you're gonna do it with tools like this. And so I just encourage you to be a part of it. I'm not going to solve a specific problem. I'm going to create one billion more farmers. So basically you can like kind of time travel or world travel inside of here. And those farmers are going to solve the problems that we need now and into the future.